Welcome again guys to Chris's Caribbean Delights, an eclectic cooking channel. So, as you can see here, I have some flour and, uh, and some milk and stuff like that. I'm going to make some bread. Now, I'm going to make some almond bread, almond flour bread. Uh, it's going to be half almond flour and half regular flour. Um, it's going to be semi-low carb. It's going to be the carbs are going to be lesser than the regular bread. But um, in order to to get that that rise and that fluff, you have to use some regular gluten flour. So I have three cups of uh, all-purpose flour, and then here I have three cups of almond flour. I have a, a, a teaspoon of salt. Um, this is a half a cup of sugar and I have two tablespoons of uh, oil, canola oil, and I have three tablespoons of active yeast, some instant yeast. So we're going to put this all together and we're going to get some bread going, get the, get the kneading going. Here's my, 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 uh, bowl here. Let's get my bowl here. Let's get the flour in there. That's uh, three cups of uh, all-purpose flour. Three cups of almond flour. Let's get the sugar. The yeast. And we're going to give this a stir. Give that a stir for about 30 seconds or so. So that you can get everything incorporated before we add the other ingredients. I forgot to mention the, the milk has to be warm. Warm milk. I'm using... Uh, warm milk at a temperature of maybe 115, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we're gonna just make a make a little well in here to get the liquid in. I'm gonna pour that liquid in there. Get the oil in there. and the salt. I'm going to give this a good mix. And let it all come together. So I switched to my dough hook because you know you need you need the kneading action going on in here. So I switched to the dough hook and we'll just let us do its thing and once we get it all together it's going to start coming away from the sides of the bowl and then we know we're ready to take it out and uh, give it a final kneading by hand. In order to get the consistency I'm looking for, I'm adding a little more flour, um, a, a quarter, quarter cup at a time. So, in order to to get that uh, that consistency. Scrape your edges down. Scrape your sides down, I mean. This is the consistency I'm looking for. It's moving away from the sides of the bowl and it's getting a good kneading there. So I'll take it out in a few, and then I'll just finish it off with my, my hand. 
so I've turned it out onto a flowered surface I'm just going to just knead it until it gets smooth my mat is sliding back into a bowl a greased bowl so that it can rise and leave it for about 45 to 50 minutes spray my bowl with some oil and move that around give it another spray Keep it moist and then you cover it with some plastic wrap. And just after about an hour, the dough has risen and I'm about to turn it out onto a floured surface and form the loaves, make the loaves. Get a good, a good size sizing for my loaf. I decided to make some rolls, so I'm just trying to round them off here. Yeah. 
This is the bread proof. The bread proof mold. It's just 95 degrees Fahrenheit and it be in there until it rises nicely. It's gonna get a nice rise in there and then we'll start the baking process. So thank you guys for watching and as you can see the almond uh, the almond flour bread has come out it's pretty very nice very soft and fluffy and you can serve it with some pepper jack cheese or some regular cheddar cheese but just go ahead and have some fun with it make some rolls you can make some dinner rolls or loaves 